Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming at you. We got our own cracker challenge today. Star Wars t-shirts and dip in a sheep. Sheep dip. Sheep dip. Test it. Let's test it. All right, it's Scott and Bart. We're back. We got, uh, we're got. we going to introduce our own little cracker challenge today um, in light of the ALS ice bucket challenge. That's We're not going to dump this on our heads. Mm, maybe maybe in a future video if we ever get hot it could or be. if we're on fire. Not in your kitchen though because you don't like yeah, it. I don't, yeah, Bruno stuff. wanted to destroy the kitchen if you've seen other couple few videos. He wanted water fountains and things <laughs> spraying all over the place. That so, would have been good. Yeah, it would have. Would look great. Anyway, uh, everybody's familiar with the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah, um, that's the problem. And, and everybody's a, familiar with it. Yeah. And for what me. a boon for ALS, man. Their their funding, the donations that they've gotten have skyrocketed. Um, instead of in lieu of the Ice Bucket Challenge, though, we come up with our own. We've got an ice bucket and we may need it because we are going to attempt to eat eight saltine crackers within two minutes while drinking nothing. Right. Now, sidebar, I got in trouble with, not trouble, my family wasn't happy because my sister nominated my brother and I knew it was coming. My brother nominated me and I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> nope. And my reasoning was not that I don't, you know, I mean, whatever, ice water getting dumped over you, that's fine. Really, the ice water getting dumped over you is for not paying. Um, but my other issue was that about two weeks prior to me getting nominated, everybody and their mother was doing it or were doing it. My two neighbors had done it, my wife had done it, and I, I it just kind of played out for me. It was like jumping the shark, so. It's sort of, I mean, it's um, it's old hat now. We need something new. Yeah, and I, when my, I knew after my brother challenged me, I said no, I knew I'd get a call from my sister, and I knew I was kind of a stick in the mud. I felt like a stick in the mud. But I am kind of stubborn, and I don't like bending to pressure. The pressure alone yeah, makes I me not want I actually to quit giving in to peer pressure when I was like 38. Hmm. That's, that's remarkable. Mm -hmm. I actually quit giving in to peer pressure when I was about 17. I was You're like four. four. Yeah. Yeah, that's you probably true. I was four and they were like, in. you've got to learn and stop picking your nose. No. <laughs> I'm doing it, <laughs> I'm I'm doing doing it, it while I'm sucking my thumb. That's what I'm right doing. Now. I'm going all picking in. The nose. I'm picking the nose while <laughs> sucking the thumb and cleaning my toenails. Yeah, that would have been what I was doing. So, um, now I've never done this. I don't think I might have done it in youth group years and years ago. I yeah. know from general knowledge, this is probably not possible. It's going to be hard. And I think actually used to be like 10 or 12 crackers, but we we cut it down to eight because I think that's even going to be a good challenge. But what you'll see is that the saltine crackers will suck all of the moisture out of your mouth, our mouths, and and we'll go from there. All right. Let's scoot this out of the way so we know you're a spitter. <laughs> it's the altitude. Okay, two minutes and we will, are you ready? Do it. Got you a timer there to watch. We're going some luck. Like, oh, my spit's gone already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, the first cracker I needed right now. Oh. You got to keep what going. What the hell? You can't quit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't swallow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Put more in your mouth. I can't. <laughs> this is very entertaining. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm on four. <laughs> I can't. I can't swallow. What is that? Come on. Not bad. Yeah. You what? Mm-hmm. What much fun is that? What is that? Mm-hmm. All right. 
No, some of our potato followers are watching. <laughs> Scotch Trooper. Scotch Trooper. We'd like you to do mm -hmm. this too, Scotch yeah. Trooper. Whiskey oh. Lassie. Mmm. Mmm, that's all about. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. You want to swallow it? Mmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. I still got like two crabs in my mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to get the, uh, that's pretty darn close. The ice bucket. I think I needed a minute. Mm. I think I needed another 30 seconds. Mm. Hold on, I'm gonna get it down. Sam? Now, Scotch Trooper, if you send us send us a little clip of you trying to do this, we'll put you on the show, a little clip. Or oh my Lord. anybody else. I, I think we'll have to limit it to three though. So the three best clips we get, if we get any, is gone. Uh, uh, Look at that. Because I got a bigger mouth. I'm gonna show you. Ah. I still got a mouthful of cracker. <laughs> I got but wow. who knows? Five and five. Yeah. Three left. I should have pushed it earlier. Because it was that mm -hmm. first shock. I think I could have forced it down a little bit. Sheep dip. Sheep dip is, is very, very interesting. Probably unlike what we just did. Sheep dip is a uh, it's a blended or vatted scotch. And uh, it has 16 different single malts in it. Tons and tons. Now... The name Sheep Dip alone is intriguing. Great I, branding, great branding. I think 16 is actually kind of low. There's a lot really? of, of uh, blended scotches okay. that use more, or up in the 20 to 30 range of different hmm. right. scotches. The name Sheep Dip is kind of interesting. Sheep Dip comes from, uh, the farmers used to de-louse their sheep uh, right before shearing. With this? No, but uh, they, in order to hide the scotch from the tax man, they would actually put their home distilled whiskey in um, barrels that were marked as sheep dip, which was obviously some kind of liquid pesticide, whatever. And uh, the tax man was a little cautious in trying to sample anything named sheep dip, just because maybe it could kill you. I don't know. So that's where the name comes from. Now, Bruno, I know it's primarily the primary single malt in here is a Highland, but do you remember what else is in it? Uh, packaging indicated Highland and Speyside were the two main regions, and right. then there should be a hint of Islay on the on the. So, uh, this was recommended. Actually, um, uh, <clears throat> if you're not, please follow us on Twitter. Um, I believe it was a Twitter follower that actually pointed out. So, that, yeah, uh, a couple guys on uh, yeah. Twitter, and it may have been. Whiskey Lassie, maybe that be, even brought a, it up. There's a great, first. just get on Twitter and there's tons, if you're a whiskey fan, please follow us, but there's tons of other folks that you can follow as well. And you can get all kinds of little scotch or general whiskey or wine tips. Well, it's got a very pleasant nose on it. Hmm. And this is one apparently you've already opened and sampled from. I did sample it. Yep. I wanted to try this. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had to sample this. Isn't it? This was interesting enough. I wasn't sure I would like it. And I will tell you, it's not quite up my normal alley. I like them smokier. I get a little bit of medicinal on the nose. What else are you getting, though? I mean, you see, I mean, it's not harsh. I don't get an alcohol burn. Um, Do you already taste it? It's, yep. Yep, that's what I was doing. Hmm. You're pretty tell me about it. Well, I good about asking me what I think when I've got it <laughs> in my mouth. Well, maybe you're still working on. I was going to say the cracker was actually a pretty good, like a, a palate uh, cleansing. Maybe we should do that before each of yeah. our tastings. Yeah, it cleansed about everything out of my mouth. Uh, on the nose, I didn't get any medicinal at all. It's all kind of a, uh, a fruit, uh, um, citrus uh, mm -hmm. nose to it. Um, it's very pleasing. I do. And the get, same in the taste, just citrus, really. I do get I the citrus. Um, it's kind of has like a brisk, clean smell. 
and I'm just drinking neat. If you mm -hmm. noticed, um, it is 40 percent. Mm -hmm. So it's in that neat neat range for me. I put a little bit of water in. I don't I don't get the hint of the eyelay on the finish. No. It's a little. It feel. It tastes sharp to me. It's a little sharp. I don't know it's uh it's pleasant it's pleasant on the palate it's there and it's already gone yeah it moves off quick i get a little hint of like almond and some wood um and i feel like i'm picking something else up but i can't put my i can't name it it's not cracker <laughs> <laughs> no saltine mm -mm. and this was one uh thirty dollar price 25 to 30 dollar range yeah i don't even recall i think it was probably around yeah i think you're right 25 to 30. it'll be one of our under 30 under 35 dollars for me this isn't i mean nothing against this at all it's not quite my type i, I figured when i tasted it i thought you would like this mm -hmm. um i i actually prefer something that trails out and lingers and that's usually well, the, the smokier space sides ideally yeah. yeah and i don't get well not always ideally i mean some but i don't get a lot of the uh a lot of the the smoky or peaty which i don't think it's supposed to be but one of my favorites that i just we reviewed last time you don't have we don't have it up yet is the glenlivet nadura that was I good that had a very yeah. nice aftertaste yeah talk about lingering. we will have reviewed this by the time you yeah. see this so all right well sheep dip um it's yeah it's interesting i mean for the price uh it's, it's good. good it's not I, I would say it's not really my style as much but i knew when i tasted it you would like it bruno's a big fan of the citrusy florally mm -hmm. Um, whereas I, I use, yeah, I don't mind the wood. I, I just linger bit. toward the smoke. A little bit of smoke was good. So, oh, also, um, we are now up on Patreon. Patreon, which is a P A T R E O N, I believe, is kind of a, a crowdfunding or microfunding website. What it allows you to do is be a patron, kind of like the old Renaissance, where um, you can go on and uh, pledge to, if you like what we're doing, you can give us a dollar per video and you can cap it. You can say, but I'm only going to give $4 a month. So uh, we, we usually put out four videos a month, so that'd be perfect. But that way, if we... If someone wanted to just give $20, um, they just give $20? Yeah, I believe you can do a flat donation as well. And uh, actually, since we put it up, we've already had a couple folks um, donate to us just from that. And what we're using it for is we want to actually add in a little bit better lighting um, and maybe another microphone. And at some point, we need a little bit better camera. We're going to upgrade the camera. Yeah, we're going we to upgrade like to. the camera yeah. if, if we can. So, But please go check us out on Patreon. Don't forget, it really helps us out if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment inside the YouTube channel. Um, that also helps us with ads or whatnot. We don't get any samples from any of the uh, main Scotch conglomerates. Yeah, we're buying. We buy everything mm -hmm. that, that we're sampling. We and, buy out of pocket and... Yep, and that allows like this. I, I like it, but it wouldn't be something I would continually buy for myself. But uh, no, and I would. It's I not bad. If we weren't reviewing it, I wouldn't be out buying it. You're right. So, but uh, we're going to keep bringing different scotches in, and we're having a blast, and we hope you are too. Check us out on Twitter. Mm -hmm. All right. See so, you guys later. Salamcha, salam dummies, crackers. <laughs> crackers. Mm. <laughs> White bread. <laughs> See ya. Now they're over the top. Yeah, they're over the top. It. I'm coming in like a car salesman now.